Hi everyone, Mr. Mike the Gadget Guy here and this is my review of the Final Cut Pro X keyboard cover silicone skin protector for MacBook Pro 13, 15, 17 inch. A sample was provided for my honest and unbiased opinion. First off, let me show you the skin here. Uh, I'm going to bring it really close to the camera so you can see the intricate detail here. Uh, this is an extremely well-made skin. and When you press your finger and rub it against one of these keys, the color actually doesn't come off on your finger. And that's really important because a lot of skins, they actually rub off. Uh, that's important. Uh, the company that makes it is this company, X Skin. Uh, when I turn it over the other side, you can see that it's uh, this is kind of a sticky surface. And this is actually important for to have a stickiness here because when you put it on your keyboard here, on your MacBook, um, it'll stick immediately. So I'm going to just install it here and that's it. Uh, you might have missed that. <laughs> that was so quick. It literally takes just one second to put on. And once it's on, it sticks really nice to the keys. When you type, it's very smooth and it almost feels like it's not even on. Um, that's great. Now right now I've got the Final Cut Pro X on. So I do want to show you some of the shortcuts when you press. Uh, for, for, so you can see it here when I push position or when I push trim, range selection. Um, that's really nice. And also there's some keys here at the top and they're different color because they have to be pressed with the command key. So when I press command key and one of these, for example, for effects, you see effects change or for the inspector menu and that changed. Uh, and this is really useful if you use Final Cut Pro X uh, and you just use the menus right now. Shortcuts are much easier to work with and I'm just a novice but still very helpful. I also wanted to show you what happens with the backlighting. Um, most skins, um, they're covering actually the backlight that you have on your keys. So I just want to note that this covers it up so you can't really see what's under there very easily, but it doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, another thing to note is the key here. As you can see, it's a kind of a different enter key than we're used to in the US. Uh, when I pull under here, you'll see what it normally looks like. It's a single key, but here they've combined the two keys, the backslash and an enter. Um, it doesn't really get in my way, um, and it shouldn't get in your way if you have a US keyboard, but just something to note. Another thing to mention is that I'm using it on my 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina. Um, I've also tested it on my non-Retina MacBook Pro, and it didn't seem to fit quite as well. So if you do have a Retina, it will fit better, um, but it also fits on your non-Retina if you have one too. It also keeps your keyboard protected from dust.